Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today you guys are going to be looking at some Houston Rockets versus Los Angeles Clippers behind me. Well, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about my career, height restrictions, and a little bit of news that we heard about in the latest 2K live stream. Now, I don't know how in tune you guys are to hearing about news, wanting to know about 2K16 and the developments and everything like that. Me personally, I've made a lot of news videos this year and I thought I told you guys by now that you know you gotta follow 2K on Twitter, you gotta follow them on Twitch and you gotta be somewhat either following or you know, twatching Ronnie and LD. Now, from what we've heard today, there are going to be new height restrictions on my players, which is, in fact, dope, as well as they're promising that there are going to be certain, um, how should I say, positive and negatives to height inside of NBA 2K16. Now, they didn't say anything about weight distribution. They only spoke about height. The second thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is actually creating your player. They're saying that they have a new system in a way that a play style actually is. So let's hop into it stuff, man. First of all, 2K said that there will be three different scoring types. Now, they kind of hinted this to maybe go through maybe passing uh shooting scoring like all different kinds so basically the way the scoring is going to go you can either be an inside score you can be an outside score or you could be a balanced score of course you already know when i create a character he has to be balanced he has to be able to play inside or outside you know at any given moment because the game might be on the line all right you guys i know that seemed like it was very short it wasn't really that much news but they only hinted on it they didn't go in depth with my career today but they did let us know about height restrictions so what i'm about to do is i'm about to read off these height restrictions to you guys i'm gonna need y'all to chill i'm gonna need y'all not to go crazy in the comments okay you can go crazy in the comment section but please don't kill me don't shoot the messenger all right now, I'm going to start from center down because I know you guys want to get the small forward and I ain't going to start from PG because I'm making a PG. So, I'm going to start from the center. So, centers, you now can be 6'8 to 7'3. Now, with being 7'3, they're saying you're not going to be the fastest person ever. <laughs> when you're running on a fast break, don't expect to be running like a point guard that's 185 pounds. Now, Another thing, they said don't expect to be a dribbling god. Demi god, dribbling god. They're saying that they're cutting out all the cheese, right? Now, the next height for power forward, this is funny. You could be 6'5 to 7 foot as a power forward. Now, I can understand 6'7. 6'8", you know, that's around like a normal size of a power forward. 6'5", if I see any 6'5", power forwards out there playing in the paint, trying to be the fastest thing out there, you know what, you, y'all just a whole different type of cheese, like, government cheese don't even cut it, like, I'm, I'm sorry. Now, uh, let's talk about these small forwards for a moment. So, you guys saying that the height cap for a power forward was 7 foot. What do you guys think a height cap is for a small forward? Well, I'm going to tell you here right now. It will be 6'10". You will be able to be from 6'3 to 6'10". Now, as a 6'10 player, you can, do your, you can do your job. But they said that you're not going to be fast. They said you ain't going to be the next KD. I don't, I don't know. I wonder how KD will play since he's about that height. And small forward. Yeah. Next, we have the shooting guard shooting guards can be from 5'10 to 6'8 six 6'8 foot eight. Six foot eight, pretty tall pretty tall but I've seen a couple people in the NBA that's that height like again like they said you're not going to be the fastest person in the world you're going to be a little bit slower but overall height does win out when it comes to the smaller positions and now it's time to hop into the PGs now everybody knows that in NBA 2k11 I was 6'1". NBA 2K12, I was 6'1". NBA 2K13, I was 6'1". NBA 2K14, I was 6'1". And then I kind of got tired of getting beasted by taller players, like a team of 7-foot small forwards. So 
All of a sudden, I grew three inches over one season. And I became 6'4". I was 6'4 in NBA 2K15 next gen. And for NBA 2K16, should I be 6'7"? No? No? Okay. Um, well, I'm not going to be 6'7". Uh, I'll think about what type of height I want to be. I might go back down to 6'1". I might, you know, be right in the middle around like 6'3". You never know. But the wingspan and everything like that will be on fleet. I'm just, I'm just saying, it's gonna be crazy, but uh, the height cap for a PG is five seven to six seven, so you.